Hey everyone, happy holidays and all that. Whether you had some time away or perhaps you just enjoyed the new year, I wish you all a pleasant 2024. And today, let's start things off this year with another trip into the archives of all things Mortal Kombat. I recently made videos on the best and worst characters in every MK title, but for this video, I wanted to talk about special moves or just attacks in general, because let me tell you, some of them are really bad. So bad that they are straight up unused and do not help a character in any way, and that's what I want to focus on for this video. These moves do not always belong to the worst overall character, but in my opinion, they are far too bad to ignore. We are Ketchup and Mustard, and these are the worst attacks in every Mortal Kombat game. I would say that the worst attack in the very first Mortal Kombat is kind of hard to choose, because the attacks that characters have here are, for the most part, usable in some way. The game only had a small roster and only a few specials per character. It's a pretty tidy game overall, and every character can win. However, if you were to make me choose what I think the worst attack could be, and this is going to be a surprise for some of you, I feel like it's got to be the Johnny Cage low blow. I know it's an iconic move, but in this game, it's really slow and it's hard to hit people with. In a high level match with Johnny Cage, you rarely see it because it just doesn't really fit that well into the meta of the first Mortal Kombat. Cage is pretty fast, right? He's got good jump attacks, good individual buttons. I mean, hell, his shadow kick and his projectile are both really fast, but his low blow? It's way slower, and it just isn't something you can realistically work into a proper match. He's still a great character. He's one of the better characters in the game, but it has nothing to do with his most iconic special attack. Now, Mortal Kombat 2 is an easy one. Here's why. Scorpion may not be the worst character, but his leg takedown in this game sucks. It's unsafe on hit. Should his takedown actually hit them, the opponent can hit him for free if they get hit by it, usually with an uppercut or something, which in this game is really high damage. A special move that results in you taking damage for hitting them is not a good move, and it is not something you would ever want to use. It doesn't need more explaining. It is worthless. This next one spans across both vanilla MK3 and ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Now, Striker's placement in the tier list aside, I know I had him as my weakest in vanilla, but his baton trip is a terrible move, and a move that some people even forget exists even now, and there's a good reason for it. This move is pretty slow for a game like Mortal Kombat 3. It has okay range, I guess, but it's just a simple takedown and that's it. The problem is it has zero reward, and in a game with special moves that can truly make or break some characters, it is so pointless to his game plan that it just doesn't fit how you play him. It's irrelevant in every way, and its only real use is likely a gimmick at a range that you hope the opponent has forgotten about. Even going into Ultimate MK3, I can't really think of a special move worse than this, because all of the new characters still had moves that would work for them, and even the worst ones are not as bad as this move. Going into Mortal Kombat Trilogy, it's another difficult one because I struggle to think of a move worse than the Striker Takedown even in Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Even for this game, I still think Striker has it the worst. Mortal Kombat 4 has a fair amount of forgettable moves, but one that stands out to me all the time as a move that just doesn't work is Kai's Handstand, a character you've already seen me state as the weakest in Mortal Kombat 4, but this move is honestly one of the biggest reasons for his low standing in the tier list. Now look, the move looks pretty funny, but it has a lot of setup and it just doesn't really work, to be honest. This move has a few attacks attached to it, but they leave you insanely vulnerable, and on hit, it's just a regular hit, nothing to write home about. This is an entire stance that you have to enter, which means you have to set it up without getting hit yourself, and while in this mode, the chances of you being hit are much higher than that of the opponent. It isn't practical, it has no substantial reward, that's it. It is awful. So Mortal Kombat Gold does actually have a move that I consider even worse, and it doesn't belong to a new character. This one's more of a adjusted existing character, Noob Cybot. 
Noob Cybot was in the console port of MK4, but he was actually adjusted in gold and given a new move. His Ghost Orb from the previous games, actually the move that made him so broken in Trilogy. But the reason I think it is the worst move in the game here is because it doesn't work properly. If you're player two and using Noob Cybot, the whole you can't block thing, and by the way, it only removes blocks in this game, the opponent can actually attack you, only affects player two. I don't know why this happens, but I imagine it's something like the effects are only applied to player two or something, but it means if you're playing as Noob Cybot and you're player two, you get the debuffs for hitting your own move terrible, terrible move that does not work as intended. It's a hidden piece of bad tech in this game because Noob in both games is actually a secret character, so most people were probably never in this exact situation to see just how bad it really was. Deadly Alliance is a weird one because, honestly, any mobility-based stance ability is a hot contender for worst in the game, as backdashing is so strong here that all of these moves are invalidated, especially for Cyrax, who gets nothing else to redeem him and this terrible backflip. But if we're looking at the worst moves overall, one always comes to mind, and that is Su Hao's Stomp Attack. This stomp is laughably terrible, and it's a strange one because Su Hao is far from bad in this game, he's actually pretty good, but this move absolutely is bad. I mean, just look at it, it's slow as hell, it tracks so badly, and if it lands, it has this long on-hit animation for not much damage, so what's the point? Su Hao is pretty good in Deadly Alliance, but I gotta tell you, it ain't because of this move. Deception's terrible moves are, again, in a bit of a discussion, because there are a few here. However, one that stands out belongs to Ashra. She has this vertical projectile that is kind of the same situation as Kai in MK4 and Armageddon. A vertical projectile that has poor tracking and is unlikely to ever hit somebody, even if they're slightly moving. It's one of the main reasons Kai is always a bad character, and Ashra essentially has the same move, and it is just as bad here. Slow projectiles in 3D MK are usually always the terrible ones, if not the worst ones, and Ashra, while having some okay other moves, suffers greatly with this one because it is everything that makes Kai bad just given to her. Sorry, Ashra. This one's a little bonus because in the GameCube port that added Shao Kahn, he automatically has the worst move. Or moves, honestly. First of all, his throw doesn't do any damage, as in, basically, zero, in a game where throws are crucial to the meta. His taunts take a long time to recover, heal barely any noticeable damage, and once you've used three of them, you can't use it anymore. This character is so bad, and he has the worst moves in this version of the game. You can't pick just one. And speaking of terrible projectiles that are way too slow, I fear there is nothing as bad as poor old Su Hao's bouncing death in Armageddon. I'm sorry to pick on you, Su Hao, but take the worst possible projectile in a game like this, give it to Su Hao, you have bouncing death. I almost don't feel like I need to explain this much because you only need to take a mere second to look at it and realize just how useless this actually is. On the off chance I get hit by this move, it's a worse feeling than losing the round entirely. I'd go as far to say that this could actually be the worst projectile in the history of Mortal Kombat. But that's just me. When it comes to MK vs DC, Lex Luthor is already said by many to be the worst character in the game. You see, most people say either they think Lex is or Catwoman. However, in the specials department, it is another area that Lex Luthor falls pretty damn short. The main move he has that you will almost never use, and when I think of other specials in this game, I genuinely struggle to think of something worse, is his Flame Burner. A move that was borrowed from Sector before him and would be used again by Sector in the next game of MK9. This move in this game is the worst it's ever been. It's really slow, it doesn't cover a huge distance, it doesn't have any advantage on hit, and it takes quite a while, so you're vulnerable if you miss it, which is pretty likely in this game. 
Lex Luthor's missiles are okay, and they can genuinely help him, even though he's a terrible character, but the flame burner is left in the unused category because it does absolutely nothing to improve his game plan. Mortal Kombat 9 has a lot of moves that simply aren't that great and maybe won't be used much, but at least if they work, they give you some kind of benefit. One move that always stands out to me that doesn't offer anything is Sub-Zero's Ground Freeze. This move in the early stages of MK9 actually led to some high damage combo resets, but the final version? Trust me, it may as well not exist. It's one of the slowest moves in the game, and your opponent has to be straight up not paying attention to get hit by this thing. It is awful in the final version of MK9, and it will not ever hit someone. You will watch tons of high-level MK9 Sub-Zero and likely never see this move in a tournament match a single time. It is definitely that bad. Now, in Mortal Kombat X, there is one move I have always thought to be the worst in the game. And look, I'm sorry to pick on Quan Chi again. Quan Chi isn't even a terrible character overall, and this move doesn't even belong to a variation. I'm talking about Quan Chi's Sky Drop. I had some people disagree with me over what I thought the worst variation was, because I said it was Warlock, and look, that's totally fair. Especially with this game having so much stuff. But here, seriously, the sky drop is dreadful. This is a move that was designed to be Quan Chi's only armored escape, but it's pretty slow on startup, it has horrendous tracking, and its ability to get hit on the way down made it something that you're taking a huge gamble to even execute. But there's not even a secured situation that it's actually going to hit the opponent defensively. You are lucky if this thing even connects, and you have to spend your meter to do the armored version. So you're losing more than health if it inevitably gets hit by a string, or a jump in, or if it just misses them all together, which is a common scenario. This, for me, is the worst move in MKX, but by all means, feel free to disagree. Mortal Kombat 11 has its fair share of awful moves. I wonder if that's the nature of there being so many to choose from in the customization. I mean, the Rambo Eat move, the Kotal Khan Anti-Air, the Melina Charge, which replaces the Ball Roll. There's a ton of moves that could be the worst, and choosing an absolute bottom of the barrel might be kind of hard for people to agree on. But one move in particular I truly do not understand why it exists is Raiden's Rolling Thunder. This incredibly slow-moving cloud is active for a set time and will deal a small bit of damage over time if the opponent stands in it. The amplified version lasts a bit longer, but this little cloud that moves at a snail's pace is truly one of the few moves in the game I look at and I just think, why? Raiden's game plan does not lend itself to prolonged setup, and because of how this move works, you'd pretty much need to set it up to get any use out of it, which would mean cutting combo damage short most of the time, with a character fairly dependent on equippable moves to get said combos going. In all of my time commentating MK11 for four years, I did not see this move once in tournament play. Not once! Okay, and here we are with the most recent Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 1. The thing is, most of the moves in this game do not really fit into the categories I've kind of set myself for this video. It's rare to find a special move that is as bad as many of the moves listed in this video. However, there are still a few in there that just aren't that great, and moves you will likely ignore for a whole match, and with that, I have found some contenders. You see, if we wanted to look at one individual attack that is truly worthless, you have to look towards Shu Jinko cameo and the moves that he steals. Most of them are totally serviceable, but some characters have moves so awful you will never use them, not a single time. Moves that come to mind belong to his worst matchups, such as the Natara Leap, which is two of your cameo bars for no benefit. Or even worse, the Kung Lao Spin, which is again both cameo meters and it does nothing of value. But I fear they may be too specific and situational because they only belong to a specific matchup. So instead, 
Here is the move I feel is the worst thing in MK1 across the board that you could technically use in any match. Kano's eye laser cameo is absolutely awful. And would you believe it was actually buffed in the Quan Chi patch? It hits mid now and it does a bit more damage. But it still is for me the worst move in the game that anyone could use in any given match. First of all, it's a summon, so you're stuck in place. That's not normally a problem, but it has slow startup and does very little for you on hit. This move has uh, the feelings of those older MK games where an attack has a lot of risk attached while having zero value when it actually hits the opponent. And unless it's right at the end of a round or something and last breath isn't available, it's mostly unused. I see it come out more by accident than on purpose. And it is for me the worst attack in the game currently, even after it being technically stronger in the latest balance patch. And that's my list for the worst moves in every main Mortal Kombat game. Stick around for more MK to come, as always. I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.